Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OrkleTexHomePage.com as well as the OrkleTexHomePage.com app. And as we look at the weather pattern, you can see the cluster of showers and thunderstorms, some of which has made its way into the Oracle, Texas disturbance uh, is going to be working its way northeastward and will bring that chance of rain into the evening hours. Other than that, you can see to our west, upper level high pressure, which is spinning its wheels here over northwestern Mexico, is going to expand to the north and that will begin to limit our rainfall chances here during the course of the next few days until a disturbance now over Florida works its way eastward. In the meantime tonight with the rainfall ending we will see lows for the most part in the low 70s across the Oracle Tex. That includes 70 in Texarkana, 71 in Shreveport, 72 degrees in Natchitoches. Daytime highs tomorrow will be closer to normal as we'll top out in the upper 80s to low 90s. That includes 89 degrees in Shreveport, 91 in, Nac in Natchitoches, and 87 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow in Texarkana. Not much of anything to worry about as far as severe weather risk for tomorrow as, uh, again, our rain that we have out there right now will come to an end as we look at our future Futurecast. You can see, if anything, a few leftover showers and thunder showers over the southeastern sections of the area. Going through the day tomorrow, we will likely start with lots of clouds. Expect a mix of clouds and sunshine as we go through the afternoon. Slight chance for that stray afternoon thunderstorm or return for your Wednesday, but most locations will stay dry tomorrow. Going through tomorrow night, looking at a uh, partly cloudy sky as low clouds will again increase late. And for Thursday, expect a mix of clouds and sunshine. I think for the most part, we stay dry for Thursday with rainfall chances less than 10%, as uh, probably will be the driest day of the week with hardly any rain across the Oracle Talks whatsoever. And uh, that will begin to change as we go into Friday. And here is a look at rainfall potential. Again, these are numbers from a future cast showing you. It actually does include some of the rain, which has already fallen. But again, from now through Saturday, a model showing a quarter to half an inch south, less than a quarter of an inch across the northern sections of the area. And then here is what's going to be happening. See the ridge here, as I mentioned, building uh, into the uh, plains by the time we get to tonight. Notice the ridge right here across Texas by the time we get to Thursday. Another ridge off the coast of Florida. In between, here's that disturbance, which is gradually going to work its way towards the west in the coming days. By Saturday, you can see getting closer to the Arkletex as it approaches. We'll see the return of that chance for the scattered thunderstorm. Uh, perhaps a low end chance uh, Friday will begin to increase Saturday and Sunday. And you can see that disturbance moving across the area this weekend. And then it kind of settles uh, just to the west of us and will continue to bring us at least a chance for a little bit of rain here for uh, the first half of next week. Now, as far as the overall rainfall potential, again, a lot of this has already fallen. We're looking at, generally speaking, a half an inch to an inch. A few locations could see more, as you can see with this particular model, and definitely looking at the heaviest totals across the southern sections of the area. Now, one thing we'll be watching also is, you may have heard about this, a plume of uh, Saharan dust which is making its way into the northern Gulf of Mexico. Most of this is going to be spinning in that disturbance that I just talked about to the east of the Arkletex, but we'll see a piece of it perhaps increase the haziness in the skies here uh, during the next couple of days. But as that disturbance in the Gulf gradually works its way towards the west, we will perhaps see a bit of an increase in that dust here as we look ahead to the weekend. So that's what we're kind of looking at as far as that is concerned. Again, this model only goes out to Thursday, so we'll probably have to wait until the weekend before we see this plume, which as you can see here, working its way into east and southeastern Louisiana, begins to inch its way a little bit more towards the uh, west here, looking ahead to the weekend. So all that said, here's a look at your seven-day forecast, and you can see that uh, not much, really too much as far as rain uh, for the rest of the work week. We'll see that chance of rain increase a bit for the weekend, uh, and then kind of low end rain chances into the first of next week. Daytime highs pretty close to normal, mainly in the low 90s. Overnight lows also pretty close to normal, mainly in the low 70s. These are Shreveport numbers. Here are your Texarkana numbers for the week ahead, and you can see your daytime highs also upper 80s, low 90s. Overnight lows right around 70. These levels also pretty close to normal. And for Texarkana, really, it looks like the rainfall chances highest, but still not too high for this weekend as well as Tuesday. And uh, again, so good news is that we really have nothing too out of the ordinary as far as temperatures and really nothing too heavy as far as rainfall across the Oracle Tax. And in case you're wondering, not looking at much of any severe weather threat from now through next Tuesday. So all in all, it looks like rainfall chances will be going up, or I should say down, temperatures going up as we go through the rest of the work week.